All right, guys, I did some sacrifice to let you guys know what was good and what wasn't good. And so I bought some cheap Chinese, and I've been getting these uh, fittings, like for YF and R134, because what I've noticed, if you go online and see, if you buy these fittings made by Yellow Jacket or Master's Cool, especially Yellow Jacket, you pay $39 for just one of these. So if you're buying a, a yellow jacket, if you look at their high side or low side, they're roughly somewhere in the neighborhood, plus or minus around $39 a piece. But if you go online to eBay or Amazon, you get these like for $15, $20, $21, $14. So I bought a variety of these. I got some more inside too. I got some other ones. I paid anywhere from like $13 to I think $21 for the YF fittings. And uh, these are some adapters. Uh, these are adapters. Now this is what this is what's happening. So this is I think a YF a 134 to YF adapter. Let me let me pull the sticker off here for you guys. Oh yeah, right. It doesn't want to let me peel the sticker off. Okay, so what this is, it's a 134 to YF adapter. This is why I'm finding contaminated refrigerant because of, the, of adapters like these. So what I'm finding, especially body shops are usually the most low life scum sucking maggots of the world who want the cheapest price on everything. Uh, they don't want to pay the price for the YF. So they think, oh, I got a good idea. I find some adapters like this that go over YF and then I'll put my 134 machine in there and I'll just pump in 134. So this is one of the reasons why I'm finding contaminated YF refrigerant now, or and vice versa, getting some YF in 134. So the geniuses are doing alive and well and kicking, and uh, their their high genius is creating havoc with our refrigerant supply with contamination. Um, so this was my old clear sight glass and you, as you can see there's a crack in it. That's why, I, I mean this is from years ago, I haven't been able to make you guys any videos because I wasn't going to really go buy another one. Uh, but this one was away in storage and I just pull, pulled it up to show you because why? Because I actually went out, I don't need to learn this stuff, this is not for me. but. I know there's a lot of you guys who would like to see refrigerant flowing live in the system. So I bought one of these guys for you and I will make a video. It looks, actually, it looks the same. Let's see. Oh, damn, that looks the same. So this is a master cool and this was just a generic white box. Ain't that the shit? That is nearly... Nearly, I so this is the expensive master cool one. As you can see, there's the part number. And, uh, master cool. So I paid a few extra dollars for the high dollar one because ooh, it has a master cool label, so it's from a big company, therefore, you should pay more. And if that ain't the exact same fitting so this was the cheap ebay one i got off ebay i think this was like a what 130 dollars for the master cool one and when i got this one i think this was like 80 dollars or 90 dollars so guess what guys the high dollar master and it came with the same hoses and the same fittings and everything like that but for like 40 or 50 dollars less I got a cardboard box for 40 or 50 dollars more from master cool I got a plastic box whoopie do so if I was you guys and you did want to get one of these skip the brand name because you're going to get the cheap Chinese one anyway uh, it, it appears buying quality from a big name doesn't mean you get the buy quality with a big name um, all you did was almost pay double, uh, 50% more 
So you could get a plastic box and a sticker with a big well-known name. But you got absolutely wear safety goggles. Wear safety goggles. So this was cheap eBay. Maximum pressure, 500 PSI. Maximum pressure, 500 PSI. O-ring, the groove, the spacing, everything is the same. So if you see these on eBay for about 50% less than the plastic box with a master cool name on it, you're getting the same thing for 50% less if you buy it on eBay. So this was my old eBay one. This is my newer Master Cool. Buy the brand name because it's supposed to be better. No, you don't get better for more. This is one of those cases where you pay more and you don't get anything more. Oh, I got a sticker by a big company. Um, so yeah. So I will be hooking this up for you guys so you can actually see when I'm doing recoveries how I can control the oil and make oil come out if I want to or make it not come out because you'll be able to see. Uh, so I'll be doing that again. This is something my dad showed me when I was young. He actually had one made up. And uh, so I think everybody should play with these things to learn a little bit. And these are the cheap, these are not yellow jackets. I do like yellow jackets and the Master Cool made a better one too. But if you've seen my videos where how these things leak, they leak underneath the sticker. So you pull the sticker up and where the little, um, what is that, little stud inside there or rivet that holds your cap on the screw, put some uh, silicone grease or some nylog right there and then stick your sticker back on because when these do leak, they leak right there. And when the uh, yellow jacket leaked, the yellow jacket leaked right there, just like a cheap Chinese one. Uh, when the master cool leaked, the master cool leaked. And what I did well in the master cools was the exact same thing. I just put nylog in the threads, nylog up here. So it doesn't matter if you if I paid fifty dollars or eighty dollars for a set of really nice yellow jacket ones, or I spent fourteen dollars for a cheap Chinese one off of eBay. It made no difference. They both eventually leaked. Uh, I will say the eBay ones leaked a little faster, but that was fixed by using silicone grease or nylog on the threads and on that rivet that's underneath the sticker. So that's your main failure point. Um, I got another oil injector, and because uh, my other oil injector, I need more oil injectors, different oils, different oil injectors. That's why I keep getting more and more oil injectors for different oils. Um, so that is my 134. Another 134 oil injector to keep all my different oils separated. So that is one of those. And that's it. I think there's nothing more. Other. I got a couple more of these. But uh, that was just a load came in today. All right, guys. See you later. I'm sure some of you will like to see about the oil travel inside the refrigerant.